I'm going to show you this ridiculous trick that makes your ship almost invincible. Credit to Solace of Thorns on Reddit for discovering this. The way AI works in Starfield is that they target the midpoint of the ship. But where would it be? Well, the assumption was the ship's center of mass, because that would be where most of the ship would be. But no. Instead, the midpoint is based on the dimensions of the ship. Which means if you design the ship in the shape of an L, then the enemy AI would be targeting around here completely missing you. So how to go about building a big L ship? Well the Reddit user built it with what looks like a bunch of radiators in the shape of a rod to the side and a bunch of halves on the top of the ship. But I'm pretty sure there's a much cheaper and effective way to do this. For this I'm going to be using the Frontier to demonstrate that you can do this very early in the game. Go to the ship services technician and ask to view and modify your ship. You'll see this screen. Enter ship builder. First you have to move one of the landing gears. So we'll take this out. Then hover the cursor over the dot and you just see an attach prompt. We'll scroll to structural and we have a variety of options to choose from. But the only options we can use for are Deimos and Nova Bracers and Nova Radiators. You can also use the Deimos hull but that's heavier and more expensive. For this video I'll use Demo Bracers. Now the cool thing is, depending on how you position your camera, you can install a bunch of bracers pretty quickly. Like so. At this point, we've reached the maximum width of our ship. If I add one more, I'll get another error. If you want to save a little money, you can add the landing gear at the end of the rod, but it'll shorten the width by one meter, but for this video I'm deleting it. So now we're done with the width, it's time to add height. Now your ship needs a docker. Solus stacked a bunch of halves on top of each other to put the docker on top, which costs quite a bit of money. So instead of putting the docker on top, I'll put it at the bottom. First I need to delete this docker module. Then I'll move the other landing gear and attach a hat. Then reattach the landing gear to the hab. Then from the bottom, I'll attach the docker. At the top where the docker once was, the cheapest structure that we can stack on top of each other are the Nova Bracer and Demo Spine E. For this video, I'm going to be using the Nova Bracer. So just spam it until we hit the height limit. And done. And just like that, for a grand total of little over 10k credits, we have made this ship near invincible. Once you're done, hit exit and accept. Exit the ship screen, and look at this monstrosity. A brief tour, you'll see the new docker location located at this hab. Other than that, the ship is basically unchanged. Let's take this ship for a test drive. You'll notice that in every ship cutscene, your ship is very off-center. To test out how well it performs, I accepted a bounty from a mission board. And after a bit of traveling, here's our guy. Just to confirm, the game is set on normal difficulty, and as you can see, he is shooting to our right, and all the missiles fly circles around us, which is kind of funny. He is landing some shots, but that's primarily on the bracers sticking out to our right. Just for fun, I'm going to bump up the difficulty to very hard to see if that changes anything. Mm, doesn't seem like it, other than the increased damage. But what would it look like if you had multiple ships shooting at you? Well, to demonstrate, I have some contraband in my ship, and I'm going to travel to Voli Alpha and see what happens. For contraband and you can be on your way. All ships, we have a hostile in orbit. Deadly force is authorized. Weapons free, open fire. Alright, so the cops are pissed off. And as you can see, they are completely whiffing their shots. There are currently three free starships around me and none of them have landed a single shot yet. In fact, I'm not even moving. I'm completely stationary. And just in case, I haven't changed the difficulty. It's still very hard. So assuming you have some sense of self-preservation, you'll still last quite a while against these Freestar guys. Eventually, 
hopefully more ships will come in and they'll start landing more shots and my ship will be donezo. But can we make this ship even more invincible? Well, yes. To do this though, you need to use console commands. Hit the tilde key to open the console. If you want to use console commands and earn achievements, download this achievement enabler mod on Nexus Mods. The commands are in the description so you can copy paste it to your own game. With these commands, I can make the ships as big as I like. But I'll be modest and go up to 200 meters. And wow, look at that. As for the height, it's more difficult because the camera isn't as cooperative and you'll reach you'll eventually reach the limit on how high the camera will go. One eternity later. Okay, so I think this is high enough. Since your ship is so heavy, you're gonna need to upgrade your grav drive. So just delete this and swap it with a better one. Then hit exit and exit and oh wow <laughs> look at that that is some shit all right well it's time to test it out again got some contraband it's time to piss off some cops so again just to make sure i've left the difficulty at very hard so right off the bat it looks like they're not hitting us let's fly around a bit and see how intense this battle is gonna get a little longer than a few minutes later all right so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I can't count this. They're moving too much. But other than the occasional hit, they can't chain enough hits to drain our shield. And if I zoom out, you'll see. Actually, you can't see anything other than the top of my ship. And if you want even more invincibility, you can also make a ship longer by attaching a bunch of hallways to your ship. If you made this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to take advantage of this, you're gonna need good piloting skills. And luckily, I have a video that will show you how to max your pilot skill in less than half an hour, which you can watch right here.